Josh McDaris here with another exciting Rampant Design Tools tutorial. Today we're going to look at using GlitchFX inside of Adobe After Effects CS6. GlitchFX includes 70 glitch and distortion elements. These are very popular effects often used in movie trailers, TV spots, and promos. The clip you saw at the beginning of this video is what today's project will be based on. In fact, let's take one more look at that. If we go back a bit, there's some 3D text that was tracked using the new camera tracker, and the particles are actually a rampant dust FX element. To learn more about the new camera tracker and 3D text, Check out the other great tutorials on the Rampant Training website. In this tutorial, we'll be focusing on the basics of this composition. And as for Dust FX, well, that's another show. Back in After Effects, you can see that we have a couple of clips already imported. We have TV noise element number 12, and some footage I shot for the tutorial. Now there's a lot of camera motion in this shot and I put the top of the couch in the foreground just so you could get a little more sense of depth. Here I just made a quick target in Adobe Photoshop to display on the TV for tracking purposes. Now you could track this shot without a target, but having one really just makes life easier. To get started, we'll need to create a new composition. We'll drag our TV footage onto the new comp button, and before we track this, we'll go ahead and create a new null object to apply our tracking data to. Right click, new, null object. Next, we'll select our video footage, go over to our tracker, track motion, and make sure that position, rotation, and scale are selected. I'm going to put our tracker points on either side of this cross, opening them up quite a bit since there's a lot of motion in the shot. Track forward. Looks pretty good. I'll make sure that our null object is the target for our tracking data and hit apply. Now we want to use that tracking data to lock the noise element to the TV. We'll bring our element down into our comp, scale it down and make a few adjustments to fit our TV screen. And just for the sake of time, I'm not going to be too terribly accurate with this. We'll grab our pick whip and parent our TV noise to the null object holding our tracking data. And when I scrub through this, you can see that our element is tracking with our TV quite nicely. Now as is, this shot doesn't look very convincing. In order to sell this effect, we're going to need to add some reactive lighting. We want the light being emitted from our TV to fall on the other objects in the scene. We'll start by grabbing the same noise effect we used on the TV and put it on top of all of our other layers. We want this to blend with everything else in the scene, so we're going to select a blend mode for it. If you can't see your blend modes, just right click on the bar here, columns and modes. And under Modes, we're going to select Soft Light. When I scrub through this, you can see that while everything does flicker, we still have this TV noise texture over everything. I'm going to get rid of that by applying a fast blur. We'll search for that in our effects panel and drag it on over. And I'm going to blur it just until that texture kind of disappears. Now I'm also going to select uh, 
repeat edge pixels because you can see that when I apply that blur, um, we, we lose some of that edge. Now when I scrub through, you can see that it not only blends with the scene, but the flicker is in sync because it's the same noise element. The last thing I want to do is to darken up the shot a bit and add some more blue TV glow to everything. First, I'll create a new adjustment layer by right-clicking in my composition, New Adjustment Layer. And I want to make sure this is above all of my other layers because any effect that I apply to it will affect anything below it. We'll go to our Effects panel, search for a Curves Adjustment, and apply that to our Adjustment Layer. We'll darken up the shot just a bit, then go to our blue channel and bring the mids up just a bit to give our scene that nice blue TV glow. We'll do a quick RAM preview. And there's our finished shot. To get your hands on Glitch FX and other Rampant products via direct download and DVD, head over to RampantDesignTools.com also on Facebook and Twitter. Again, I'm Josh McDaris. We'll see you next time.